President Patra, thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. The Media Nation within Alberta has done a tremendous amount of work over the years in relation to child and family services. With the enactment of Act C-92, an act respecting First Nations, Inuit, Métis children, youth and families, and the identification of the Métis Nation within Alberta as an Indigenous governing body. How has the MA responded to the enactment of Act C-92? The MA is very excited about C-92. I believe over the years we've had the resolutions many times come to our annual assembly about what are we going to do about our children. Uh, so it's, it's, been, it's been there. So we're excited about being able to actually exercise our rights under C92. And um, as you know, that is, that is happening. We've applied, we've had a, um, a five-year grant that's come to help us set up what our children's law can look like how we can look after our children. And uh, now we're in the midst of community engagement, which we've done over the years a few times, but it still was time to go back out and see if that was still relevant today and how we continue to move, to, to develop that model that is proper for us, that will then set out that law of how we will look after our children. This act and what will come out of it as something again that has been needed, wanted, uh, stopped and started so many times over the years um, where people have said, we need to do something. We need to take care of our kids. And now I believe we are finally at that point where we are actually gonna see it happen. We are actually starting to implement what people have told us over the years. So I am really, really excited about it. What it will mean is that I believe the numbers of children in care won't keep going up. Right now we know that uh, we make up 6% of the population and yet I believe it's over the 70% mark uh, of, of children in care that are Indigenous. And so I believe it's going to make a huge difference in those numbers. It's going to make a huge difference to the families that have always wanted to be considered to look after their own, to keep our children with families, with communities. I see within five to 10 years, maybe sooner, I, I see that we will have uh, services provided to our children that are traditional, that are culturally appropriate, that are taking into consideration uh, the families, our families out there who want their children to stay within the families. For 27 years, under my leadership, we have always talked about how do we make this happen because I know probably for you Carol just like me as young people grown up we heard our older people talking about those children who did go into care and some that never came home until they were adults and I think for me over those years it was always how do we change that and now I see hope I see light at the end of that tunnel that our next generation of young people, of middle-aged people will no longer have to worry about our kids being taken care of properly. Will they be able to make sure and retain their culture and their knowledge of who they are as Métis children? So I am really, really happy we're at this stage. I know we have a long way to go to get there, but we have seen, we have seen evidence of changes that have happened when First Nations communities have been able to do that. And that's what we want to see here too, is leave our kids at home where they belong and cared to by our people, our communities. And I know it takes a lot of people to make it happen. And I think that's what I'm most proud of. We've all been able to never lose sight 
of what the end results needs to be, and we're going to finally be there.